So now is the time to deep dive into web scraping part and before we jump into it we need to first understand some concepts of VBA. So for that I recommend you to first go through the free course that is available on my YouTube channel to learn the basic concepts of VBA. So if you have basic understanding of VBA you can skip this part because this is just revision of all these things and you can directly move on to section 3 which is all about web scraping. So in section 2 we will be focusing on VBA concepts. So in the first tutorial we are talking about sub procedures and functions. So a sub procedure is basically a set of statements which perform some action and function is again same thing. The only difference between sub procedure and function is function returns some output. Right. So to create a sub procedure you just need to insert a module and then you need to follow the syntax sub and the name of sub procedure and then it ends with end sub and in between these two you can place the body and this body can have multiple statements as well. So for sake of simplicity we are just using message box and the text that we are giving would be displayed as a message box here which you can see here in the output. Right so we have this sub procedure and we have successfully created our first sub procedure in VBA. Now let us create another one let's say I want to create another sub procedure so I can write just underneath it so sub proc2 let's say the name that I give to procedure 2 is proc2 and again let's say the body says procedure 2 right so I have two sub procedures now in this module right so this module can have multiple sub procedures and functions and I can have multiple modules here in this project now I'll be talking about scope of the sub procedures so anything which is without any keyword and which we use like sub and the name of sub procedure the default scope is public right that means we can call these sub procedures from anywhere but if I use the keyword private in front of sub proc2 for example so now this sub procedure become private now let us understand what is the meaning of this private sub procedure so for that I create another module and let's say I add another sub procedure whose name is test now I'm trying to call procedure 1 from this sub procedure so it should perform that action which is there in procedure 1 as it is. So if we revisit we can see there is a message box saying procedure 1 so it should simply display that message box and it works like this. Now let us try to call procedure 2. Now it gives me a compile error that it is not defined. The reason is because there are two modules and from the second module we are not able to call private members of module 1. So that means the scope of the private members is just that module. We cannot call it from outside. Just to test this, I am bringing back that test sub procedure here in the same module which is having the private member and I am trying to call procedure 2 now from that sub procedure only and I am able to call the private member as well. Right? So that makes us understand that private members can be called only through that module and not from outside. Now let us understand one more thing that we can also pass arguments to these sub procedures right so for example I want to parameterize this message so I can use message as string here in the arguments and then I can replace this hard coded text from the message that I am receiving to this sub procedure as input right so that message would display it in the message box as it is if I call it like this so call procedure 1 so it would be executing this sub procedure and again I need to give that argument when I'm calling it right because if I do not specify the argument it would return me error that the argument is missing. Now you can see that it is displaying that message only and if I modify the message it would print that modified message right. So that makes our piece of code generic from the standpoint that we can give any argument and it would execute that sub procedure for that particular argument. Now we can have multiple arguments comma separated and these arguments can have any type right so let's say first argument is of string type I can have another argument of integer or any other type that I have in VB. Now let us try to understand the difference between a sub procedure and a function so for that we first create a sub procedure let's say and I want to create a sub procedure to add up two numbers so I give the name as sum at right and it let's say accepts two arguments both integral values a and b so a as integer b as integer and in the body let's say i just uh, do the sum of these two variables and save it in any, any variable right so a plus b let's say goes into a third variable which is sum at now you will must be wondering that why i have taken the 
variable name as the method name you can take any name here right the role would actually come here when we talk about functions because while returning a value for a function we just need to use the same name i'll be talking about it later right so let's say i create another sub procedure test and in that test i let's say call this sub procedure with two values and i want to store this value in let's say x right and if i try to display that value in the message box and run it it gives me error that this is a sub procedure and it should not return a value because that is the work of a function right so we need to convert this sub procedure into a function so for a function to return a value it is important that you keep the name of the variable same as the name of function and that value would be returned as the output of that function right so that's why i have taken the name sum at here right so once the statements inside this function are executed the value which is there in the variable sum at which is exactly as the same name as the function that value will be returned right so that's why x would be holding that value all right so let us run this and we'll see the output here right so that is the difference between function and sub procedure right i'll see you in the next tutorial again that is a refresher so we'll be talking more about vba concepts